When creating tasks for students in breakout rooms, I like to use Google Slides, where each breakout room has their own slide to work on. So here in this slide deck, you can see that on my slide number one, I have instructions for my students of what they are going to do. In this case, they're going to brainstorm ideas based on, let's say it was a reading that they did or based on a lab and they had to come up with like, what are, the, what are their ideas of what they think might be happening? Um, it could be any sort of thing. And so the next slides here, you'll see that on slide number two, it says room number one for breakout room number one, and it has a place for the team members' names and then their ideas that they're going to share. And then the next slide, slide two, slide three, et cetera. Now, um, if I go back to the instructions, what students are going to do is they are going to color code their name and their notes. So when students put their name in here, for example, I might be green. And then the next student, they might um, be blue. So they can choose to color code their names. Then as they are having a discussion, they are going to record each other's ideas down. So like, what's idea number one maybe this was came from one student but then other people added to their idea or provided evidence from the reading or from the lab whatever it might be when they record their notes they are going to color code them as well and you can do this for any sort of task that you might have your students do but it helps to color code so you know whose ideas came from who or um, it could be who recorded things but in order to encourage conversation, I normally like to have a student um, type notes from what someone else had said. Now, a few other things that I have on the instructions for students is that if they need help, like they're stuck on something and they need help from the teacher to change their slide background to red. So on their slide, they could go to the backgrounds and change it to red if they need help. Now, if they are completely done, they're like, okay, we got this, we're good, we can move on, they're going to change it to green. And that's a clue for the teacher, because if they start to see everything green, but you still had five minutes in the breakout rooms for the students, you can call them all back a little bit early if everyone is already done. Now, as a teacher, what's nice about this color coding and having everything on one dock is down at the bottom of the screen, Right down here, you can see that there are um, these six images. So right now I'm in a film strip view where I see every slide on the left in a row. If I click on this box right here, it puts all the slides in film strip view. And I can easily see if they're green, if students are done, if they're red, if they're not. I could see what writing has been added to them to see if students are working. If I see nothing on the slide, I know, okay, maybe I need to go visit that breakout room and see what's going on. Also, if I see like inappropriate things, like students are having fun and putting animated gifts of turkeys, um, I know, okay, maybe I need to go check in on this group. Now down at the bottom center, there's a zoom where you can see more or less slides at one time. So this is something that you could use to help you monitor breakout rooms, go in and help students if needed. And another thing that just quickly that I can show you is that I have created this as a template. And so if I go into slide edit master, I'm creating these layouts, which you have some default layouts when you go into slides, but I created these here with the instructions and I can change up what the instructions are for the students. And I could also change these topics here. So maybe I want it to be a topic, I don't know. And what that's gonna do is when I make those changes, one, you'll notice that on the slide, I can't move anything. I can't edit anything as a student. But when I go to the student slides, notice that on slide for breakout room one, it says topic, topic, topic. It changes it on every single slide when you edit the master. So it makes it a lot easier for you to reuse these templates for other topics later in the year. You just wanna make sure when you're ready to give this to the students that you share so that anyone 
on the internet can edit this document. So your students can go in and edit it when they're in breakout rooms.